Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Jasmine Lomax. Welcome back. Well, we made it through another stormy day. Those storms were rather quick. They moved in and out of the area. Now we're nice and dry. Now some areas did see a little bit of heavy rainfall. The area in the green saw about 1.2 inches of rainfall over the past 12 hours. Areas in the blue saw less than half an inch. So compared to yesterday's totals, these numbers were fairly low and tomorrow expect low rainfall totals as we prepare for more storms in the area. So around 8 p.m. we're nice and dry in the area. A slight chance for an isolated shower, but by about midnight we start to see some clearing with the clouds. But by 7 a.m. those clouds return. There's a slight chance for an isolated shower in the area. Keep this in mind. Your commute could be a wet one as you had to work in the morning, but about Around lunchtime, we start to see some more storms in the picture. Most of the heavy rain is going to stay well to our north, but these storms are going to continue throughout the afternoon and early evening. By around 5 p.m., there are some more storms in the picture, but we do begin to quiet down. You could still see some showers on your commute home, and roads could be a little bit wet, but by 10 p.m., we're nice and dry, and we're staying that way as we head into Thursday, which will be a nice and fairly dry day. First overnight, we're dropping into the mid 70s. It's going to be nice and quiet, very muggy as well, but we stay mainly dry. Then tomorrow will be sort of a transition day. We're expecting scattered storms in the area, but temperatures are finally starting to warm up. We're returning to the 90s around 3 p.m., but notice our feel like temperatures close to that 100 degree mark, feeling like 98 around 2 p.m. and 97 around 5 p.m. So it will be a hot day outside and just keep an eye out for those storms in the afternoon and evening. Now chances for rain are about 40% tomorrow. We'll see some scattered storms in the area that goes down to 20 on Thursday. And as we head into the weekend, we stay mainly dry on Monday and Tuesday. There's just a slight chance for an isolated shower in the area, but we're staying mainly dry and we're not looking at any washouts. So right now we're nice and dry. Our temperatures have started to warm up. We're currently at 81. Feels like 86 winds right now are calm and around the area feel like temperatures in the 80s and even the 90s. Feels like 82 in Hammond, 89 in New Orleans. Home of feels like 91 in areas along the coast where there really wasn't much rainfall today are a lot warmer outside. Our, currently, we are monitoring this system that is moving through the area. It's going to move back into the Atlantic and it could see some development once that happens. Chances right now are at 40%, but that's going to stay away from us and otherwise in the tropics, we are nice and quiet. Again, tonight dropping to about 75, mostly dry outside and mostly cloudy. Just a slight chance for an isolated shower, but tomorrow expect some more storms in the area. It is the final day of storms, but temperatures are rising to about 90. It is going to be hot. It is going to be humid. Now we've partnered with iHeartRadio Baton Rouge to give you your weather on the go, and this is what we're looking at over the next few days. The main thing is that storms are finally coming to an end. On Thursday, we're nice and dry, 93 outside. Same thing on Friday and plenty of sunshine both days. We're starting to get hotter and it's really starting to feel like summer. Mid 90s on Saturday and Sunday, great pool days, but it is going to be hot and humid. Make sure to stay hydrated and protect yourself and your family members from the heat. Monday, we're at 94. Tuesday, we're at 92. And as we do enter the work, we start to see our chances for rain go up, but just by a little, just an isolated shower is possible, but again, it's going to be hot and humid. Our